rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. In the era of female rappers dominating. <laughs> How do we get here? No, 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 because because I'm I'm showing you the setup. <laughs> I'm showing you the setup. It's gonna be a great setup. <laughs> showing you the setup. It's gonna be great. Right? Oh, okay. Lord Jesus. All right. Yo, let, let's 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 um let's 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 kind of tune out the lyricism. Let's take the intelligence out of rap music. All right. Let's put put all these guys that's hooked on drugs. Let's put them in place. All right. All these guys are emotional. And they fucking committed suicide. What's the closest thing to that? Hey, let's get some chicks in here. Now there's a million women rapping about being prostitutes. Oh, having they're, 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 every every other line is a uh, he flew me out. He paid for this. He did it off. You want this pussy? You gotta buy this. You gotta do that. Da 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 da. But that's always happening. Now, now you Strip now you change the culture. You're welcome. That, that, that's that's you, always happened. But but you change the culture of interaction. I've actually <clears> had <throat> women. Um, I'm like, yo, what's up? Da, 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 da. You trying to hang out tonight? She's like, Poppy, I want to do, I want to do everything. I want to talk about going on vacations. I want to go shopping and da, da da. I'm like, whoa, bitch, uh, block. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this is their culture now. This is what they believe. I'm supposed to respond to a man that's willing to pay for this, pay for this, pay for this, pay for this. Then you do that <laughs> if you comply. And you're like, you know what? Yo, that shit was kind of lit. Trafficking. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Trafficking. Boom. They Boom. Go to Trafficking. Boom. Yeah. What you know, the fuck? Yeah, as soon as you tell her, yeah, I ain't going to lie. That was the best. Sex traffic. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. As soon as you say, here's a purse. Oh. I appreciate the and time. And it's not the one you wanted or, or to have. And it's not the yo, one you wanted. It's you, not you, the one you wanted. You kept wanted. talking about your light bill. I got you. Trafficking. So now y'all know why I can't spend no money on y'all. It's just, it is. That's not super why. Area, it is. Super it, gray area. It is. It, it's it's gotta, scary though. Find some but, but, but think women. about it. But females have always been talking that shit. Little Kim was talking it. Uh, Foxy Brown was talking it. But there weren't fifty of them talking. <clears throat> we had variety. There was there was way, way more yeah. variety. We, we have yeah. in now, the time of Lauren. In the time of Little Kim and Foxy, we had Rod Digger. Here comes Lauren Hill. We have women who are rapping. Jean Grey. Eve always, Jean Grey. You know Eve always wrapped that ass off. Like, so you're saying there's no conscious female rappers there anymore? There are. They're not getting the they same. They are. They're, they're just not getting the same, the same attention. Rhapsody is one. Yeah. But I come on here, We I come on here and name tons of women. Yo, who, by the way, I just want to take a second to say, yo, Jan Janelle Monet is bad as fuck. And we're Janelle off to Monet. a different, we're, we're <laughs> a different way. <laughs> That didn't take long at all. She's we not into men, though, so you know, it is what it oh, is. Oh, she got a man? Uh, yeah. No, she's, she's not, not into men. men. Oh, she's not into men? Yeah, she's lesbian. She's not into men? No, she's always been I don't lesbian. believe that shit. Uh, what the I fuck? I don't believe that shit. No, I don't. I'm well, just, you I cannot don't. believe it, but she's always I, said I it. I met lesbian women later on who in give life. that off. Later on in life. And then... All right, well, right now. You know? <laughs> right now in life. She's, it, she's it, it changes. Like, yeah, They maybe. start being curious. And they're like... Well, you know, hit it one time. You see what's up. You know what I'm saying? It, it happens. Yeah. yeah. So I don't believe it. Shout back They, out they might not like men, male personalities, but if you're like using a strap or something, no, but you're still attracted to men. Sorry. It's still, a, yeah, it's still there. I don't know. Yeah. Sure. Whatever, whatever you need. <laughs> whatever, whatever you need to tell you. Yeah, but no, man. It's a, it's a <laughs> dicey situation. <clears throat> if I was Diddy right now, and I had my passport still. I would go to a country with no extradition, no extradition and say fuck it. And the fact that he, because it was announced because it was the biggest, he took second mortgages out on his home. He had like a hundred million dollars. Hundred million, yeah. So clearly he's gearing up for something, whether that's for his defense or whether he's planning on saying, because think about it. Did he went to Russia? That's it. You'll, you'll never, you'll never get him back. Right. You think Putin gonna give Diddy back? <laughs> to America <laughs> Edward Snowden is over there and he's like leaked all types of secrets mm -hmm. and everything right. else like that right. he, you know Steven Seagal is over there and he had all types of sex charges rape charges against him and everything he's living in Russia chilling, chilling. Damn. so if Puffy takes his 100 million hits up some people that know Putin and say listen I'm going to buy a mansion I'm going to break you off some money 
I know that y'all ain't going to cooperate what? with the U.S. to give me back. I don't want to be bothered. Uh, I don't uh, want you know? Yeah. I'm just going to live out the rest of my 20, 30 years on this Quietly earth. Quietly rich. Quietly rich. And I, and I need people That's to know. That's what I would have done. I need That's people to do. know. Like, well, we you ha- fit in in we, Russia way better than he does. But the, no, 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 no. But well, we, if he has his passport, it's not too late. We have a TV image of Russia. Uh-huh. There's actually many black people out there. It's not really a lot of them. Not, not really. No, nah, there's a, there's Russian, a whole bro. area I, I dedicated still, I still, to I still live in Russia. He's Russian. Right, that's what I'm Russian, saying. Huh? But there's there, a whole there, area. There are, there are like, like <laughs> African said, no. exchange students that go to the universities and stuff like that, but there's not a big black but there, community. But there's people that have been living there for like a good amount of time. Yeah, there are, but it's up. a very... They're, they're sprinkled, bro. Is what he's saying. One percent maybe, yeah. half a percent maybe. It's not like We America. just need a hood. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we just need a hood. That's, that's all we need. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, but then again, you know, listen, as soon as Diddy... Gets to the airport, the feds might swoop in and, and hit him with the indictment. Right he still right has there his there. passport. I don't think he. I don't. I don't think they would leave him with that. No, he has. What do you his mean? Passport. You think he still has? He passport? hasn't, he hasn't been, been charged with he anything. Been charged. He has yeah. his passport. Okay, fair enough. I, I think this if you raided crazy. your house, you take his passport. Yeah, I, yeah. I figured that once they raided you, they take. No, yeah, that's no, what no, I'm no, saying. no, no. They can't take your passport until they indict you. Fair enough. Okay, I didn't know. A raid is just a raid. I got you. People get people have raids and come up with nothing, and then you go on with your oh, life. You never get charged. Right now, then. <laughs> you sorry. you think that there's a pattern with um, Diddy, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby? When that Epstein list came out, shit went crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but I've heard shit. I, 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 I think a lot of it. I think but... that there's a pattern of a high level of publicity, and 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 especially when there are high profile lawsuits, there's high profile documentaries. You can't say that R. Kelly didn't go to prison because of surviving R. Kelly. You just can't say it. You can't because because but it's he not beat official that charge. He beat the loss. He beat his the underage charges back in was it 2006? That was about right. to say yeah, 2006. He went to trial, mm-hmm. and the girl on the tape said, that's not me. And ultimately, he was found not guilty, and he, he had hit. That's when Ignition came out, and, and, and Step in the Name of Love, and he was living his best life, and he was partying, and he was touring, and he was coming mm-hmm. out with albums, and he was writing for other artists, and life was great. And then Surviving R. Kelly came out, and it was the biggest thing ever at that time, and then suddenly... Within a few months, the charges started to come down. Mm-hmm. I, I want to make a point to know. say, I argue... And I, I heard they're doing a... Everyone's fighting to do the first Diddy documentary. Which is crazy. It's going to yeah. be nasty. I want to say... It's going to be nasty work. Yeah. For the people on, on Twitter who, when I declined speaking on this topic without sufficient information, they said that I was trying to defend something. What you guys don't understand is for any successful black man, this is like a warning sign. This is like a, yo, be careful out there. And for all you guys, all everybody in the hip hop community who's jumping all over this shit, speculating. I'm seeing blogs going up every day with misinformation, shit that's no place else. Everybody's trying right. to be first with the weirdest story that they can come up with. My fear for speaking on something that I don't, I know nothing about, and that a man hasn't been charged with, yeah. is that one day you motherfuckers might try to do this shit to me. Where that's the internet era for, for you, bro. And that scares the fuck out of me. That's the first jury we go through. That you mm-hmm. motherfuckers will decide Court on public opinion. who's guilty and who's not before everything is laid on the table. And that is disturbing. It's disturbing. If you truly look at certain people as, okay, this person is a great musician, love them for that. But let's stop trying to, you know, have this fucking witch hunt. Every time a successful black man is 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 accused of something or whatever, let's wait just a little, just wait until there's actually a fucking conviction before you motherfuckers start dragging the nigga. Or at least until you hear the it's evidence. it's fucking scary for the rest yeah. of us. We're, mm-hmm. we're, we're, we're scared of our own people at this point. Like, what are you motherfuckers going to sit back and be like, you know what, Mav got a good podcast. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think that nigga's this. And then the story just spreads and you and you guys just keep running it. 
what the fuck? Turn that shit off just for a second. Turn it off just for a second. Yeah, I mean, Puff might not be charged. You don't know. They may go through all the evidence. You know, they may have not found anything in the house. Uh, You know, once they really kind of press down on the witnesses, they may realize that these aren't witnesses you could put on the stand. You know, and, and think about it. Like, my guess is that hundred million is he is building a dream team of oh, lawyers, lawyers right now. Too. Like if you if you ever watched the documentary about um, about O.J. Simpson, mm-hmm. like he literally because he had money but not enough money to to really right now to do a, the type of defense he had. So he would sit there and in his jail cell every day he would just sign footballs. He would, he would be selling signed footballs, right? Oh and then he realized. Gosh. Okay, I can't sign as many footballs because they're so big. He would get deflated footballs, so they could just stack them up mm. to the ceiling. And then they would inflate and then he would them. just sign yeah. deflated footballs and then inflate them and then sell them. And that's how he was making the money for his defense. And each of these footballs might well, be thousand dollars. This is the and, different occasion. Did he actually? Did he actually the has the money? Right. right. Did he has money? He just sold revolt. So he's he's. I think he's preparing for the defense. And once you prepare, and once you get that dream team of lawyers and investigators, and private eyes, and experts, and blah, blah, and you start digging into the stories of all these people, you start realizing that if you put them on the stand, you're going to start tearing these people apart. Oh, well, here's, oh, you claim that you, 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 you know, he raped you, but here's 50 other occasions, here's all the Instagram posts that you've deleted. Here's all the times, you, here's all the text messages, here's all, let me bring in five boyfriends, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because remember the Kobe case, mm-hmm. right? Remember the Kobe case, yep, they, they went... Kobe had that <laughs> money. He went and found all the, like she had sex with like three other guys that day. Mm-hmm. You know, and she, right. they couldn't tell whose sperm was what. Yeah. Right. You know, they went and found so many people to start basically making her seem like an uncredible witness right. to the point where they ultimately just dropped the case. Mm-hmm. Right. You see what I'm saying? You don't think Diddy gonna do that? Every single person that's gonna be against him, there is going to be a world of evidence where this person is going to look like they're full of shit. That was all at them fucking <laughs> parties, bro. They were all at these parties. <laughs> that was all at they were parties, all, man. they're going to bring in the friends of all these people. They're going to get on the stand and say, no, she told me, uh, you know, she they had ready. consensual sex, ready. but, you know, she she was going to be a millionaire. She's already picking out her fucking Bugatti, you know, with mm-hmm. the money. You right. know, we went Bugatti shopping last week. She's like, yeah, as soon as Diddy, you know what I mean? Like, like there's going to be a lot of that. Right. But, but that's going to take money. And unlike an R. Kelly, who ultimately the money had, had ran right. out by the end, by the time mm-hmm. he was, you know, being charged with all these different cases and all these different counties, right. he, he couldn't even get by. No, Puffy, Puffy got hundreds of millions, and he's going to use it because there's nothing more important than his freedom. Mm-hmm. And I, I heard from an inside source that Kanye was close to the edge also. But he got a good team of people to find his money. But had he not done that, he might have been under the bus right now. Yeah. It's crazy, man. No, it's not. It's what it is. You can do anything you want in this country if you, can, if you can pay for it. It's crazy, bro. No, seriously, bro. You it's can commit any crime you want in this country. If you can pay for it, you can do whatever it, you want. You just have to pay for it. And it costs. Well, Most at, people don't know at, who to pay. Uh, look at Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. You just got to be able and to pay at, for look it. And at, look at uh, you know, uh, Epstein. And, and I, I interviewed his lawyer, Alan Dershowitz. And I, and I said... Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.